During the establishment of ASEAN in 1967, Cambodia had political chaos and riot as a result of severe political dis divisions between the right-wing military coup and the left-wing group, the Khmer Rouge, including the fighting between the government forces of Cambodia and the communist forces of North Vietnam. The Khmer Rouge emerged victorious in the Cambodian Civil War, overthrew the dictatorship of the Khmer Republic, and installed their own government, Democratic Kampuchea, in 1976. However, the political situations in Cambodia were still not peaceful and were plagued by many problems ranging famine, poverty, power struggles, conflicts between Vietnam and Cambodia. The Vietnamese troops invaded and successfully occupied Cambodia in 1979 and together with a group of Cambodian politicians dissatisfied with Khmer Rouge founded the People's Republic of Kampuchea, or PRK. The country fell into total disarray when groups of Cambodian politicians opposing the Vietnamese occupation used the United Nations, UN, and international stage to protest against the policies that caused Cambodia to be isolated from the world. Under that circumstance, Indonesia played an important role in resolving Cambodia's problems and acted as the ASEAN representative in negotiating with Vietnam in 1988 and 1989 in the Jakarta informal meeting in July 1988. The result of the meeting resulted in recognition of the need for arranging formal meetings between leaders of many countries. The Indonesian leader and the French leader mutually presided over the Paris Conference on Cambodia in 1990 with cooperation from many countries. This led to the signing of the Paris Peace Accords, formally titled Agreements on a Comprehensive Political Settlement of the Cambodian Conflict in 1991. And when a United Nations peacekeeper called the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia, or UNTAK, was formed, and began to operate in Cambodia, Indonesia sent its military forces to aid Cambodia in military affairs during the period still awaiting the holding of the Cambodian general election. At the time, Indonesia also took part in promoting and safeguarding human rights. One, Cambodia at the national level.